How you doing? Sonny Randazzle here, Randazzle Fresh Market, and we're with our big pasta frying pan again. We're doing another video. I'm going to show you what we can do if you have a party at your house, business, wherever, and we can put something together for you and cook it right on the spot. So first I get started with our ton of olive oil. We like using this. It's great, very flavorful Sicilian olive oil, extra virgin. So I got that going on my pan. It's starting to get hot. And then I, I like getting started with the anchovies too with that. Anchovy has great flavor for sauce. That's just going to fry right up. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but it sounds that's the sound of love right there. That sounds great. Look at the bottom. You can look at the flame down at the bottom. I got a nice hot blue flame going. So we can do this right on the spot, make the sauce right here on the spot for you. Okay, now I'm getting ready to start putting in my garlic. I have about five or six cloves of garlic sliced up, um, large slices I like to do. I like to see the garlic in there. I don't like mincing it too much. Okay, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'll be adding more a little bit later. Okay, so what I'm going to be making today is a fresh tomato sauce from our cherry, vine cherry tomatoes that we sell in the store here. Very tasty cherry tomatoes. We divined them. I have them already. It's about 12 packages or so I got over here. And then I have water from the pasta, the pasta water. Now these tomatoes, we're going to cook them down, we're just going to smash them with the spoon, and that makes that fresh, beautiful, sweet tasting tomato sauce. I'm going to save a little bit of pasta water for later. I also have porter from Italy, San Marzano Passata that we use, it's going to get to make it just a little saucier. Pour that in there, and then mix it around because I don't need much of this. a little basil just to get a little bit more flavor incorporated in, but I'm not going to put it all in yet. I want to save it at the end for so it has some uh, bright color. Okay, so my tomatoes are cooking down, slowly cooking down, and as they're blistering, getting soft, I'm just kind of smashing them with the spoon. Like I said, these are the cherry vine tomatoes that we sell in the store. They're very sweet, they got excellent flavor, so they're gonna make a wonderful sauce. And this will thicken up. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. But that's what's nice about us being out on site cooking this. Your guests will see the theater and the anticipation growing of this sauce. And that's what creates a great atmosphere and completes a, a wonderful party. Imagine a Saturday or Sunday afternoon crowd hanging out watching this happen and, and us doing this in your backyard. Be a lot of fun. Be a party or an event that people will talk about and won't forget. And look at how simple this is. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, anchovy, cherry tomatoes, pasta water, basil. It doesn't get easier than this. It's beautiful. Okay, as you can see now, it's the, the cherry tomatoes have cooked down. We've broken them up pretty good. And see how thick the sauce is now, what kind of sauce it's making? It's all thickening up. What we're gonna do, and it's starting to reduce a little bit, 
I'm going to add a little bit more pasta water to it. And that should be enough before we add the pasta to it. Now the pasta, I have it pre-cooked, al dente, so it's, we're going to finish it off in here. Tomatoes are almost in a, almost 100% sauce, a little bit of chunks here and there, but that'll melt down too as soon as the pasta goes in. And I'm ready for the pasta now. Today I'm going with a penne regatte. As you can see here, this is cooked halfway. And I had, there's three pounds right there. We can make a lot more than that. We can make a lot more than that. If you guys hear somebody heckling in the background, that's this guy right over here. I don't know if you, he's a local celebrity. His name's Tony Penna. And that's how I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> he wanted to see it. What do you think, Dad? Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Okay, now once I have the sauce incorpor uh, the pasta incorporated with the sauce, I'm going to add in some pecorino romano. That's going to that's going to change the pro profile a little bit, and make it a little bit creamier. I like using pec romano. It creates uh cuz it's very a lot more milk base, it creates a nice creaminess to it that you just can't quite get from the Parmesan. So as you can see, the pasta come out absolutely beautiful. You can get a good look in there, come in there. It's piping hot coming right off of here. And we can serve it just as it comes off, just like this, right from here for your guests. And we'll see beautiful, fresh, homemade, on-site sauce. Bon appetit. Thank you. Have a great day.